Hey, Rip Force here at topphilosophy.net. Two revolutionary studies here, when put together, are the first of its kind to define ball movement through biomechanics. So let's look at the first study. It says a significant positive correlation was identified between form pronation acceleration, that's the thumb driving down at ball release, and the magnitude of vertical ball movement regardless of pitch type. So basically those who had more pronation speeds, acceleration, typically had more vertical ball movement, vertical break. If we go back to that study I did a few uh, videos back, this one found a biomechanical effect of foot placement, found that pitchers that land to the open side from where their foot is on the rubber, as opposed to the closed side, they typically drop their elbows, forced more into rotation speeds, but extended to release, and they finished with less pronation uh, uh, more less pronation at release than those that landed close. Those that landed close typically came through better into forearm rotation. So if they're landing to the open side and they're finishing with less pronation, then that's more than likely decreasing or working against pronation speeds. So therefore those pitchers are probably more than likely those who pull off and fly open are more horizontal break. So Here's the link. If you want to have more vertical movement, vertical break, which is very attractive because uh, it looks like the ball is rising, right? It has that really effective rising movement to your fastball. You got to make sure you're not landing to the open side flying open because it's going to be practically impossible for you to build more vertical break. So here's two studies showing you biomechanically, if you land more closed, there's a better chance that you can ex better accelerate your pronation speeds and get more vertical break. Like I said, first of its kind, we have no studies that are really linking the biomechanical movements to how we're spinning the ball, because now that we're finding this information, and as we collect more of this, we can now work on our biomechanics to get the better ball movements that we want. And this is what we've done here at Top Velocity, especially with Top Velocity Pro. So if you wanna learn more, uh, check us out at Top Velocity Pro.